You're tightening the belt this year and saving money, but there are a handful of growing scams that are designed to steal your money. A Jimmy. fake Amazon purchase and bank wire transfers. That's how a local family said scammers were able to steal more than a half million dollars from them. Take you can't afford to lose any money. We know that. So make sure you don't fall for scam. Right. Picture this. You're scrolling through your feed, minding your own business, and bam, ads everywhere. They're like those annoying pop-up ads from the early 2000s, but now they're following you around online. If it feels like these ads are breathing down your neck, then know that you are not the only one. According to a report by Pew Research Center on November 15, 2019, more than half of people in America feel like they're being spied on online for ads, and 78% of consumers believe their smartphones are listening to conversations to provide targeted ads. Now, you might be thinking, come on, isn't that just being paranoid? Or it can't be that big a deal? I mean, we're just talking about some local businesses trying to sell their stuff, right? But what if there's more going on than meets the eye? Well, today, let's dig a little deeper and see what we uncover. A framework for disaster. Hundreds of billions of dollars are spent every year to control the public mind. Noam Chomsky, the most cited scholar of the last two decades. Okay, so in order to understand the scams in the digital platforms, we need to understand how it functions as a whole. Digital advertising works by businesses paying to display ads on online platforms like websites, social media, or search engines. These ads track users' personal information without their consent, exploiting their privacy for profit. But surely it can't be that bad. You have Google to search for what you need. As it happens, that is not entirely the case. A recent study has shown that Google has just gotten worse. It stated that a torrent of low-quality content especially for product search, keeps drowning any kind of useful information in search results. For instance, when you search for the word car, you expect to find the meaning of the word, history regarding it, or learn about a car dealership. However, when a search was conducted using the word car, we got California Association of Realtors in the results. Now, the results may vary based on the place of your search, but to sum it all up, what you are ultimately Googling is websites that were able to scan their way into that search engine optimization game. And get this, according to the folks at eMarketer, companies have dished out over $515 billion on digital ads in the year 2023 alone. To put that into perspective, that's more than what most countries spend in their entire annual budgets. So, with these fancy algorithms, advertisers can basically stock you online and show you stuff they think you'll like online ad scandals. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, online ad scandals. By now, you've probably guessed, it's not all rainbows and sunshine in the world of digital marketing. In June of 2021, the Irish Council for Civil Liberties sued the IAB Tech Lab and others for what they're called the world's largest data breach. The case brought by Johnny Ryan was based over real-time bidding in digital ads, where your personal info gets passed around like hot potatoes. Every time we load a page on a commercial website or use an app, the website or app tells tens or hundreds of companies all about us so that their clients can decide whether to bid on the opportunity to show you an ad, explained Johnny Ryan. These bid requests include inferences of your sexual orientation, religion, what you're reading, watching and listening to, and your location. This is not a scenario of a cozy little gathering of a couple of companies sharing your data behind closed doors. Oh no! We're talking about a full-blown data extravaganza involving hundreds of companies. It's like a bustling marketplace where your personal info is the hottest commodity in town, with everyone from tech giants to smaller players clamoring to get their hands on it. It's a wild, unregulated data free for all, and you're the unwitting star of the show. Online scams cost consumers over $10 billion in 2023 alone. Direct Ad Scam with spending projected to soar up to $836 billion in 2026, brands and agencies are excited to capitalize on the vast opportunities. And with so many loopholes in the industry, this is terrific news for the digital ad fraudsters and scammer as well. But what exactly is digital ad fraud? Simply put, it's a scheme where scammers manipulate digital advertising networks for financial gain, like the ones we talked about previously. They artificially inflate performance metrics like clicks or views to siphon off advertisers' budgets. Digital ad fraud comes in many forms, from click fraud, where bots inflate click rates, 
to domain spoofing, where criminals deceive advertisers with fake domains. The tactics are cunning and diverse. Pixel stuffing, embedding multiple ads in a single pixel, is another sneaky trick used by fraudsters. The cost of digital ad fraud is staggering. According to the Association of National Advertisers, it's jaw-dropping $120 billion annually. While some estimates are slightly lower, the fact remains, the industry is bleeding money at an alarming rate. Malvertising These days, it's not just about annoying pop-ups. Malicious ads or malvertising can infect your device with all sorts of nasty stuff from viruses to ransomware. According to a report by Sophos, cyber criminals use paid ads to lure and suspecting users to malicious websites, unleashing malware like Iced ID and Gozi. But what exactly is malvertising? They are ads designed to look like legitimate advertisements and are often displayed on reputable websites. When users click on these ads, they can unwittingly download malware onto their devices or be redirected to websites hosting malware. Remember that time you clicked on an ad for a fancy gadget, only to find out it's not what it seems like? Well, you may have been smart enough to survive that, but most people like the elderly demographic are more likely to fall for those scams. In 2023, the global tally of malware attacks surged to 6.06 .06 billion, marking a 10% jump from the previous year. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing, lurking in the corners of the internet, ready to pounce on and suspecting users. The scary reality of malvertising is that these aren't regulated. Anyone can put them up as long as they are paying for it. So the next time you're tempted by that too-good-to-be-true ad, remember, not everything is as it seems in the wild west of online advertising. Influencers Let's talk about influencers and their role in the online ad game. You know those insta-famous folks who seem to have it all. Turns out, they're not just living the dream, they're selling it too. As it turns out, 69% of consumers trust influencers' product recommendations more than brands' endorsements. Paid promotions aren't anything new. We have been seeing celebrities acting as brand ambassadors for almost forever. But here's the catch. Not all influencers are upfront about getting paid to promote stuff. That cute selfie with the protein shake. Yeah, it might be more about the paycheck than the gains. Among influencers, 97% posted content with commercial intent, and only 20% consistently disclosed the promotional nature of their content. Additionally, 30% of influencers omitted essential company details, such as email addresses, company names, postal addresses, or registration numbers from their posts. So the next time you see your favorite influencer raving about a product, remember to take it with a grain of salt. After all, not everything you see online is as authentic as it seems. Political influencers And it's not just limited to selling stuff anymore. Online ads have sneaked into the political arena too, trying to sway elections and, well, everything along with it. In the last U.S. election, politicians blew over $8 billion on digital ads, up 30% from before. Cambridge Analytica, a political consulting firm, harvested data from millions of Facebook users without their consent to build psychological profiles for targeted political advertising. The firm used this data to micro-target individuals with tailored political messages during the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Russian operatives also purchased thousands of ads on platforms like Facebook and Twitter, targeting divisive issues such as race, immigration, and gun control. These ads reached millions of Americans and sought to influence public opinion in favor of certain candidates or political agendas highlighting the vulnerability of digital advertising platforms to foreign interference. But it's not just about influencing the people politically, but spreading misinformation to do so. For instance, researchers at the University of Oxford discovered that during the 2016 Brexit referendum campaign, misleading or false claims spread through Facebook ads reach over 10 million users in the UK. In the 2019 Indian general elections, WhatsApp became like the go-to spot for spreading political gossip and rumors. Political parties and all sorts of groups were using this encrypted messaging app to sling around all kinds of wild stories, trying to sway people's opinions. This rampant spread of misinformation on WhatsApp contributed to communal tensions, political polarization, and voter manipulation. It showed just how tricky it can be to keep tabs on political shenanigans in the digital world, especially when everyone's hiding behind encryption and anonymity. All right, folks, we've covered a lot of ground today. 
But there's one more piece to this puzzle, the bigger picture. What does all this online ad madness mean for us, the consumers, or more appropriately, us, the products? If we are able to get rid of the billions of scams all around the world, and that's a big if, then online ads can give us access to products and services we might never have discovered otherwise. They can connect us with brands we love and help small businesses thrive in a digital world. On the other hand, digital ads can keep showing us what we already believe, which might not be great for expanding our minds. Plus, they're always popping up, which can be super distracting. And let's not forget how they scoop up our personal info, invading our privacy. What does the future hold for us? Only time can tell. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest videos.